Oh yeah. Uh, uh, feels good. Feels good. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Songbird. Dante Black. And we're back for another episode of your favorite internet show, Polar Opposites, the Nothing <laughs> And oh, as always, we need to clean a little house, make sure we get some business out of the way. For our first time visitors, what's up, cuz? Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We got a little bit of instructions for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell that's right beside it so that you're notified every time a new episode of Polar Opposites Man Edition pops up. And for our returning opposite fan, what's up, cuz? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming back. And let's get into today's topic. All right, so today's topic is what's more important, friendship or love? Now, I was just thinking about this and I was absolutely torn. And I say that because I've been in that situation before and it was like, which one do you choose? And yeah, I think that it depends on where you're at in the love situation because I have this thing that I used to say a long time ago, love lasts as long as the next. And for all of you, you know, that doesn't last very really long. It depends if it's a long time. You could be skeeting for a minute. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sprinkle in your drawers. Ew. <laughs> Disgusting. Wait, you said. Either way. Um, it would definitely depend on where you are in your relationship and where you are in your level of friendship that would decide that because if you've been friends with someone for five plus years and you're just entering this relationship, it's only been about three or four months and things go sour between the best friend and the boyfriend. It's like, well, it's early enough in the situation where I would be okay with letting go of the boyfriend. To save my friendship with my best friend. So it's whatever. Sometimes people can be dispensable. Sounds bad, but it's true. I'm a loyal type of person. For real. So when <laughs> so when I say that, I'm uh, obviously I know I'm, I'm geared towards the friendship side of it because when you have somebody that's truly your friend. They go to bat for you. Like, they gonna always be there. Y'all argue, fuss, cuss, throw stuff at each other, and all that. But at the end of the day, if something, hell, y'all might even fight. But what kind of friends end, you got? These are these are real friends. Because no, uh, the kind of friendship I'm talking about is something that you're not gonna find from everybody. It's for a special person that you have a connection with. So of course y'all gonna go through stuff. But at the end of the day, if I call you. You got me. You call me, I got you. That's how it is. So me personally, uh, friendship means a whole lot more than the love of a relationship. Because all it takes is one bad argument in their relationship and that person gone. You cheat on that person one time, they gone. You say something about their mama or say something, say something, something stupid like, oh, um, you can't cook grits. They get offended and they leave. Your, your best friend, you be like, man, you got a lot of lumps in these grits. They gonna look at you, eat it or don't eat it. You got a lot of lumps in your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and it goes, it, and it goes like that. So that's why I would choose the the I would choose the friendship side of it over the love side of it because you can. I ain't saying that it's like like you can take advantage of the other person, but you and your best friend, y'all gonna go through hell with each other, and y'all gonna always have each other back. It just takes something so-called big in a relationship to end it and they'll never be back you made it sound like i was going to pick the relationship side of the you kind of did no yeah no i said it depends on where it, it it's levels to this thing that's what i said it's know. levels to it so don't make it sound like i just said oh i always pick love okay no, well let's love don't okay well let's ask that you've been in okay you've had your best friend for let's say five years but you've been dating this person for four years 
So meaning it's a year difference and you see yourself marrying that person. At that point, then what do you do? You have to pick and choose. Who do you pick? It's who do you see more potential in in that case. If you feel like this person is going to make you their wife, if you know that you can see happiness with that person, you know that they're going to be there, then possibly you could pick love. Put them on my face. I can see your face in the camera. Shut up. Bruh, all right, fuck all of that. I'm picking my friend. Like you done like listen, I understand we were supposed to we, we were supposed to tie tonight, I understand we're supposed to be together, but this this is this is my friend, 10 grand and all. So what I need y'all to do before you get your ass dismissed, y'all talking out and fix it. Well let me say this. Let me say this. If that person that you're in a relationship with truly loves you. They would not put you in that predicament. If they know that person is important to you, they will consider, they'll be like, you know what? I can't stand this person with all of my might. I, I could practically say I despise them, but I know my significant other loves them as a person. So you know what? I'm going to put up with you because I love them. I love them enough to put up with stuff that I don't like. So that's another thing you have to look at too. And that kind of tells you about the person that you're with. If they're able to put their feelings to the side. If they're able to put you first. So that is another thing you have to look at. Yeah, and, and, and a lot of people, and I won't just say just females, but a lot of people, they can't stand to see the person they're with have a better relationship with somebody else outside of them. So they create this jealousy or this rivalry for your attention when it shouldn't be that way. Your relationship should be separate and your, your um, interactions with this particular person should be se separate from their interaction because y'all on two different levels. Exactly. And I think in relationships, we we put ourselves in a position to compare when it's not a comparison. I'm with this person because I'm in a relationship with this person, but this is my friend. So when you start comparing the two, you put yourself in a position to be let go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Be let go. I'm listen. If people that know me personally, and this is me, piece of if you've been down with me, like ten toes down, like down like four flats, like we we just struggle together. Let me get it. You, I ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, I will say, ain't no feeling gonna come between that. So if you at any point think that you come between that, you might well leave. You might as well go. And that goes from each side. And I can speak for everybody that's a true friend of mine. They'll feel the same way. Well, if y'all watching this, if y'all any true friends of Dante Black, make sure you comment to let, let us know if you Nah, don't comment because I don't want nobody in our business. It ain't they business who I'm friends with. I, <laughs> it ain't they business. <laughs> Just know, stay on your P's and Q's, guys and girls. Play your position and stay in your lane and y'all won't have any issues. He says that because he has no friends. <laughs> yeah, I have zero friends. I'm taking applications today. I'll be your friend. I don't want your friends. Oh. Oh, oh. All right, guys, make sure you sound off below. Tell us which one do you think is more important, love or friendship? And make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, tag a friend, tell your best friend or your significant other to sound off below too. All right, songbird. I do like peace.